Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. If you watch this video till the end, so it will be better for you. Because today in this video lecture, I will guide you how to calculate development length for beam and column. And I will guide you for calculation development length with standard formula, not by thumb rule. So therefore watch this video till the end to learn something new about development length. So let's get started. If this video is helpful for you, so you may like this video. First of all, I will tell you what is development length because in many videos I have already discussed about development length. So you can see on the screen, this is development length for beam and column. So if you need to know about development length in detail, so the link is in the description of this video or at the end of this video, you will see the other recommended videos. Okay. So guys, what is development length formula? So the development length formula is this one. LD is equal die of steel sigma S by 4 ta BD. So this is the formula for development length. Now let me show you in detail what is what are these symbols inside development length. Okay, formula. Where this symbol, this is dia of reinforcement bar, maybe 12 mm, 14, 16, 20, 25, etc. The second one is sigma s. So this is stress developed in a bar at section considered at load design. This is sigma. Okay. So we have different sigma s for different grade of concrete. Okay. So therefore, it, it can be changed for different grades of concrete and steels. Okay. And the other one is ta BD, the last one. Okay. So the four is constant and ta BD is equal design bond stress. Right. So let's calculate development length for M30 grade concrete. For what? For M30 great concrete where the steel stress is strength is fe 500 okay means newton per mm square right remember guys this is the formula from is 456 2000 the reference is is 456 2000 okay so note one thing where we can use this formula right so the formula can be used for both the limit state and working stress method it only differs in design bond stress value okay so if you know about steel structure design so you should have knowledge about the limit stress, uh, state method and working stress method okay so we have different values specially for here let me show you for design bond stress for ta bd okay we have different so also you can see on the screen so these are the values you can use for uh, limit state and also for working stress right so let's get started suppose i am finding the development length and limit state method so in limit state method, we have the values for design bond stress for M15, for M20, M25, M30, M35, etc. Okay. So therefore, suppose the dia of steel rod is, so this is for M30 grade. Okay. So the dia of steel rod is, for example, 12 millimeter. The dia of steel rod is 12 millimeter and stress and bar, okay, which is grade of steel or strength of steel is 45 415 newton per mm square so for fe 45 bar right so now guys the design bond stress is tau beauty which is 2.4 newton per mm square now you can see on the screen so this uh, design bond stress is for m30 grade concrete especially for an limit state method okay you can see on the screen now you should have knowledge about uh, this uh, graph okay and also this table 
So now where the formula is LD is equal diameter of steel rod sigma S by 4 ta BD. Okay. So we have everything here. So therefore now it's easy to calculate the development length. Okay. For 12 mm bar M30 grade concrete. So where LD is equal you can see the diameter I have multiply 415. Where 415 is you can see sigma s so the sigma s is stress developed and the bar at section considered low design okay so where i have that one uh, look at here guys you can see 415 okay so this st the strength of steel rod which is 415 so divided by 4 ta bd okay so now ld is equal die of steel rod 415 by 4 multiply now here ta bd i have 2.4 and the table limit state method okay because this is uh, this is the formula using for both okay can be used for both limit state and working stress method right so therefore ld is equal dia 415 by 4 where 4 is the constant value you can see here ta bd is from the table 2.4 so is equal 43 dia okay so it means the LD should be for this M30 grade concrete, okay, where the die of steel rod is 12 mm and grade of steel rod is this one, our strength of steel rod is this one. So here the, uh, we will use 43 dia, okay, so it means 43 dia uh, 43 time dia for example if this is 12 mm so 12 mm so 43 multiply 12 then you will get the value of development length the total length of so length of development length you can see are ld so ld is equal 43 multiply 12 remember one thing guys the development length should not be less than 41 d the development length, uh, development length should not be less than 41 d dia okay so this is it should not be less than so this is from the reference of is 456 2000 is 456 2000 so it must be 41 d so guys this is the formula uh, to find development length how to calculate development length so hope this video can help you so thanks for watching see you in next video